Namaste. Ritsho akshare parame vyoman yasmin deva adivishve nishedu. Yastanna veda kimricha karishyati yaitad vidusta ime samasate. In search for knowledge, understanding of why we are here, what's the purpose of the universe, do we have freedom or everything is predetermined? And if everything is predetermined, what is the purpose of life? What is the point of doing anything and worrying about anything? These fundamental existential questions and many such questions have been intriguing philosophers and scientists alike throughout time. At every age, the answers came from different directions, sometimes based on belief, other times based on philosophy, superstition, imagination, logic, common sense, etc. Our age today speaks the language of science. People want proof and scientific experimentation to study the laws of nature on an objective level. This objective approach is based on observations. These observations depend on the accuracy of our sensory perceptions. It has its advantages, but also its limitations. We used to think, for example, that the sun, mo sun moved from the east to the west. And then we discovered, of course, that the earth is rotating around its axis, creating this illusion. Depending on the depths of our perception, we can have different conclusions. Nature itself appears in layers. Recent scientific discoveries, for example, have shown a completely different reality at the basis of classical universe. In that reality, there is superposition, entanglement, delocalization in time and space, and many other aspects described as weird by even the most advanced scientists. The ancient seers of the Veda have explored the laws of nature from within their consciousness. The Vedic literature indeed, as described by Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, is the expression of how consciousness vibrates within itself and expresses the dynamics of the laws of nature from the field of pure and bounded consciousness. If we are to convince the world about the authenticity of Veda, we need to present the Vedic literature in a comprehensive way, including logic, common sense, and research findings and show that the paradigms presented by Veda have strong and convincing explanatory power as they shed light on what so far have been considered as mysteries. The Vedic Devata, for example, the uncommon creatures described in Mahabharata and Ramayana have to be convincing on a scientific level. That is what Marishi asked me to do under his guidance, to show that these powers are expressions of the laws of nature with different dynamics that create the individual human physiology as well as the structure of the universe. Hundreds of scientific research studies have demonstrated the effectiveness of the Vedic consciousness-based technologies taught by Maharishi as he unfolded them faithfully from the Vedic tradition. In terms of ultimate reality, Advaita Vedanta, when properly understood, resolves all the questions, conundrums, mysteries, and even scientific discoveries of the finest levels of manifestation. In the scientific age, we can present in the most convincing way the ultimate knowledge given by the Vedic Parampara as maintained in Sanatan Dharma. It is with this perspective, with this focus and from this purpose, for this goal, 
that I have written the book titled Consciousness is All There Is. The title is a translation of the term Advaita Vedanta. It describes the essence of Advaita Vedanta and shows how it can be scientifically understood. The knowledge presented in the book finds the reality of life and this demonstrates how all philosophies, all philosophical systems, even those that appear contradictory, have a very basic unifying value. Whether Dvaitic or Advaitic was a thought seen, experienced as one and many, that the divine is multiple or many, whoever are the prophets, the sages of all walks of life and their teachings, ultimate reality is one, appearing as many and on many layers. Depending on which layer we decide to look, we can perceive different aspects and have different conclusions about life and living. Vedic knowledge gives technologies and practices that offer practical solutions to remove ignorance, suffering, conflict and problems from the life of all individuals and societies. This is not just a wishful promise. It has been scientifically documented and proven through many studies conducted in the best research centers and universities in the world and published in peer-reviewed journals of the highest international reputation. All this and more is presented in the book Consciousness is All There Is. I look forward to sharing and discussing with you this knowledge and technologies of consciousness for the benefit of all. Namaste, Pranam, Jai Guru Dev.